we're back inside. First thing we need to do is clean up this board, okay? Since I actually airbrushed it on the board that I'm gonna use, that means I have to go ahead and clean it up. Just like this. I just find it easier doing it on the board that it's supposed to be on when I ice it. Um, if you don't wanna have to clean it up like this, then do it on a different board and then place it on your finished board. Uh, but I usually do it this way. I'm going to have sugar sand around here and some seashells, so I don't even have to get that close to the cake. It's just I don't want the edges like this to have the uh, teal color all over them. Okay, so the next things we're going to need, we're going to do some uh, tropical flowers. So we're going to need some flower cutters and we're going to need some buttercream. And I decided to go with some, uh, I want this to be real bright and fun, so I have um, orange fondant. I have some bright yellow, like a golden yellow buttercream. And I have a little bit of yellow fondant here. I actually want to lighten it up because I want the buttons to be um, more of a creamy, creamy yellow color. So let me just add, I probably don't even need all that yellow. Just go ahead and knead this in. And we can just keep it marbleized, actually. Don't need to have to knead it in all the way. Perfect. Let me move this out of the way a bit. Okay, so a little cornstarch down. Take the rolling pin. And roll this out. We don't want it to be too thin because we're gonna do buttons here. Okay. Okay, and then I've got different cutters here. Um, I've got these little round plunger cutters that are round, or you can use a little cutter like this. Uh, sometimes I use the back of a tip, but this tip right here has a little ridge on it, so the fondant's not actually popping out the way I want it. So I'm going to use this cutter, and what's nice about this is I just pop out the round circle, and then where it leaves a mark, just kind of flatten that with your, your thumb, and then we'll place it going down here. Okay, and then you can take, this is a number five, uh, three tip, I'm sorry. And we can just use this and just go oh, one, two, three, four, make the little marks for the buttons. Okay, like so. All right, so the next thing I need is my orange rolled out because we're going to cut some flowers. Now, if you just have any type of flower cutter, I really like this one. I just wasn't sure. I was thinking on a half sheet, these flower, those sizes are fine. I was kind of going, oh, a quarter sheet's kind of small. Um, but I think it's actually, if I just stay with these two, we'll be fine. Or you could find other little cutters like this. I just wanted something that would look similar to a hibiscus. But you don't even have to do flowers. I mean, you can do whatever you want. It's just a lot of Hawaiian shirts have flowers on them. So I'll just knead this up a little bit. Roll it out. Okay. Just go ahead and cut some. And then this is where I always like to put some of these wherever there's a little mess up. Like there's a little thing of water right there, so I'm going to pop it right on top. Have some come over the edge. Do some smaller ones. And, and what I also do is I take some of the flowers, this one, and I cut it. Okay, so over here by the collar, what I could do is put half a flower because the other half would be underneath. 